There's a ton of fields, a lot of small fields. Drones can do small fields, no problem. They can do big fields too. If you're in hilly terrain, I would say get the T50. That is so cool. DJI, you go. Give me a fist pump, DJI. I've never seen a drone be able to climb this fast. Like, it's doing it super smooth. All right, guys, Mike with New Way Ag, down south in Ohio, hilly terrain. Got here early, the farmer was out, had uh, picked up another batch of chemical. We got the fields boundary. There's a ton of fields, a lot of small fields. Drones can do small fields, no problem. It just takes longer because you gotta set up so many different times. We build boundaries for about an hour and a half. A lot of different boundaries, a lot of different fields. But uh, we got it done, we're gonna get this thing loaded up. We're gonna go down, get started on the first fields and show you how these drones can knock out these fields. It's about the new way trailer. You know, it's this is tight spot in here, but you fly off the top. You can deal with this. So I'm marking this. Uh, he has a waterway that he doesn't want sprayed. Now I would go in here. That's the mark. Let's edit. Make this a non-spray area. We're going to do this. Yeah, we're just being like doing this for the farmer, like getting it the best way possible. So then we're gonna confirm that, overwrite original field. Now we got a non-spray area right there. We got uh, this field prepped. We're going to hit use. We're doing three gallons an acre. Jay's got this all set up. We're gonna do 10 feet above the crop to start with. Micron size, I'm going to 130. 32 feet, yep, that's right. Flying at that direction isn't great for the wind, but it's gonna have to do. So here we go. So now we got her in there. Let's check. Now we're right on the edge, right where we want to be. There she goes. She's in a hill mode, so she'll start spraying up a little high. It's laying it down actually pretty decently. You see that? It's gonna cut it off right there. Boom, off, keeps flying. Wow. On these types of hills, it actually has no problem following with that new hill mode. This is what it looks like. Just flies this route right here. This is a non spray area. I told it to shut off through there. Back and forth. Laying her down, boys. Three gallons an acre. It pumps it out fast. We're only 1,400 feet away. All right, we got the T40 working on this little field here. We got the T50 over there. T50, I'm telling you what, that thing terrain follows so much better than the T40. So if you're in hilly terrain, I would say get the T50. If you're looking for a T50, get a hold of us. We sell the trailer, the drones, the whole nine yards. But T40 does great in flat lands. You can spray as fast as the T50 in flat lands if you're doing two gallons an acre. Yeah, I had to move a couple different times. A bunch of little fields. The drones can do little fields, but they can do big fields too. They do big fields better than they do little fields because I can get more covered. As a custom applicator, it's about the acres. We got the T50 working this hillside in Ohio. I've never seen a drone be able to climb this fast. Like, it's doing it super smooth. Like, the maneuverability that this thing's got right now, impressive. Unreal. Look at that thing go. That's insane. This run here, he's turning the auto obstacle avoidance off because it was slowing down, it was sensing the hill. See how it's sinking down? Because huge grade, huge difference. So now auto obstacle avoidance is turned back on and the drone is calculating that and figuring that out, what it has to do for that big change. You can't see it by eye, but on the other side, that sucker like really drops off. I'm telling you what, it is doing so good just sensing that stuff with that big radar in the back. It's totally figuring it out. That is so cool. DJI, you go. Give me a fist pump, DJI. So you were saying that this would have took you five days to spray. Like, I could have done the bean grounds in, in two days, for sure. Okay. But all my spraying would have took me at least four days. So the bean ground, what we're doing right now, I think we could have probably done this in three hours. Easily. Yeah. We're, we're there right now. This, for your type of land, is going to absolutely change how oh, you do it. Oh, that new one's unreal. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just what I've seen out of it, and I'm not around them like you are. Jay is sending the 50 out for a little bit that we got here. Started off 
a little late this morning. We got down here at about 11, started building boundaries around 11.30, got done with that. About an hour, we had the boundaries figured out where all the fields are at, stopped, got gas, and the generators. Every time I see it work, I just have to stop and just like look at it. Like, would you just look at that? Okay, back to it. Yep, T50s. I'm telling you guys, if you're in an area that is hilly, you're probably gonna want the T50. What we did on this one here is we built the boundaries tight to the trees and we wanted to see how the obstacle avoidance works. It's snugged up against the trees right now. T50's working. That's all I got for you guys today here on New Way Ag. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. We're gonna bring in you guys all the coolest content using these drones. and showing to you, proving to you, that you can cover thousands and thousands of acres with these drones. That's all we got, we're out. A little bit of Poppy Willie action. This battery, woo!